Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Mandy. And I wanted to try this um, bloom on this 12 inch cradled wood board uh, from Lily Beffy. And the color inspiration came uh, loosely from Lisa Marvin who did a really pretty bloom uh, where she kind of spread out some pigment on the background and then did the bloom over it. So I'm using um, similar colors. So the black pillow I'm using is Color Place Black Onyx Satin from Walmart. And the very first color is going to be a custom mix. Um, so it's using indigo and chalcedony and a little bit of boysenberry from Color Art to give us this color. And then where I'm not very good at yet um, spreading it around in the background. <laughs> um, I used a lot of paint so you don't end up being able to see this color a whole bunch but I did kind of a practice run on a record using similar colors and it turned out pretty cool um, but you can see that <laughs> I didn't do the greatest job spinning that around. I think I had too much pillow paint in the middle but um, it was still a fun experiment. So this ends up sort of being a background color um, I kind of went wrong by putting down too much pillow paint in the first place instead of starting with a smaller puddle doing this and then spinning it out but I didn't realize that until I already put too much pillow paint on the surface and I wasn't going to just waste it at that point so I end up kind of spinning it a little bit here to open it up a little bit but I put a ton of paint down so you'll see in a second that it doesn't entirely matter that I didn't do the greatest job of that because this color does come through, but it sort of comes through as if it was the bottom layer of like the very first puddle or something. But I'm pretty excited about this. So don't forget, um, you can save 20% on anything on the Color Art website using my code below, Mandy1120. And what I love about Color Art is you can make custom colors and make them kind of suit what you want. So this is um, Fluorescent Violet by Liquitex. This is a Liquitex gouache, which is sort of similar to a soft body in the consistency. Um, but it's a beautiful color. And I used a lot of the color to get kind of that highly pigmented look, which is why that color looks a little bit thin when I'm spreading it out. And up next, I just used a little bit of um, some leftover pigment that I had, which was French Kiss, which is kind of a similar shade of purple. Um, but I had mixed up some of that, and I had hardly any leftover in my container, so I went ahead and used it here because I didn't have a whole lot left, and I needed to use it so it wouldn't dry up. So I just figured it matches. Let's throw it in there. So... I it looks like there's a lot of it now that I have it all out on here so you can kind of see how I ended up using a lot of paint but sorry my dogs are snorting and making all kinds of weird noises in the background so the next color is from the new ancient treasures bling it set and it's called crimson lust and it is a beautiful red it's so beautiful and so um, what made me want to do this yesterday is I wanted to try this color in this particular pour idea. And it's so much richer than you can see on camera. Sometimes the um, pouring medium, because of the varnish and stuff, it might make things look a little cloudy. But once you get them on a pour, man, it's totally different. So you can see I like that color. I just poured it on there. So the next color um, I was going to use is Golden Honey, which is a prism pour color, and I love it. But I also added in a little bit of Solar Flare, which is another new Bling It color from the Ancient Treasures series, and it's so sparkly. So I drizzled some, ancient, some uh, Solar Flare, and then I went ahead and put the Golden Honey on as well. So unfortunately with the really bright white lights you can't always see the pigments as beautiful as they really are until we get to do the close-up 
So just know when you're when you're seeing pigments on camera, they're not always going to show with as much deliciousness as they actually have because those bright lights make them look whiter and more pale and they kind of mask the sparkle a little bit. But by the same token, you kind of need the bright light for the pour. So <laughs> it's kind of difficult sometimes. But this is Golden Honey. So you can see they're both kind of a light gold. And I love Golden Honey. I mean, I love Egyptian coin as well. They're completely different golds. I just love how sparkly Golden Honey is because it's such a soft, beautiful gold. It just, um, I don't know, it just plays so well with so many different things. I love it with blues, like deep blues and teals, which was a completely side note because that's not what we're doing here. So this, I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of white down and I'm gonna use a blue-black cell activator. So this is regular white, this is not pouring medium white. I realized it was a little bit thick, so I went to go get some Josonia and water to thin it down. So I keep a bottle of three parts Josonia to one part water just mixed up, ready to dilute paint. It just, it seems to last a little bit long. I just use an old Josonia bottle, so it helps recycle some of the residue that's in there, <laughs> and I just use it that way. I put a little dot on the top so I know which one is my regular Josonia and which one is the uh, Josonia water mix. Really helps a lot. And then the blue black is Atelier Interactive, which is one of my favorite cell activators and I honestly love the color as well. So, And then I'm gonna blow this one out with my little compact hair dryer. I think it's a I think the name is B-E-R-T-A. I tried to list it on my Amazon shop because I've really started to like it. But they don't have it for sale right now. So I don't know if it's coming back or not. But I do have a compact one that has a similar size opening in my Amazon shop. So that should work just as well. And I put kind of a generous amount because the cell activator is relatively thick and I don't want to run out. Okay, so I will probably put my head right in the way for a second and just blow that out just a little bit myself after I pop these bubbles. Um, what that does for me is it just gives me a little bit more confidence that when I break out the dryer, it's going to catch the center and blow out a little bit more evenly. Sorry about my head in the way. It's also kind of freaking me out how much more gray hair I have than I realize because I don't see up there. <laughs> so as you can tell, the Atelier is very, uh, well the interactive that is, is a really great cell activator. It really holds its structure pretty well. I mean, I didn't do a perfect job blowing it out. You can see a couple places where I kind of blew a little bit too much down into the pillow, but for the most part, and I shouldn't have done that, I should have caught that myself with my mouth and just blew it out differently, but for the most part, it is dreamy to work with. Um, so far, I've had a great experience with the silver, um, with the copper, with the blue black and with the red black which is really just kind of brown looking <clears throat> it does take longer to mix up so if you're mixing it up and you're like wow this seems like it's taking forever um, some of it's because it's a heavy body and some of it's because it is just it's not soft and creamy like in amsterdam so it it takes a while to mix up i have also heard some people say that they've gotten batches that have had issues and I have had that too um, but I've continued to just manipulate the tube and stir it up really really well um, and it's turned out great so if that happens to you hang in there I know with my copper the first one was a little weird my first batch of cell activator I made 
I just ended up putting it in a Dutch pour bottle, but the second batch was fine. So I think sometimes it's just how it's stored. Anything that's metallic, especially mica settles to the bottom. So if it's stored upside down, the mica is all going to come to the front. So and sometimes it's just an issue of how it's stored. So all you saw me do just now is try to take a little bit um, where there's some cell activator, where there was some at the edges where I didn't maybe do the greatest job and just blow it out over the colors. And then here I'm just trying to kind of embellish a little bit around kind of the seemingly petal <laughs> areas and um, kind of just create a little bit more structure there. Um, now what I'm doing is taking that little turkey baster and I'm just gently breaking the surface tension where I have too much cell activator in the middle. What that's going to do is help the cells that are already trying to form on the bottom to come through. Again, it's super important there just to break the surface tension. You're not trying to blow cells through. It took me a while to figure that out, so I try to emphasize that for your benefit uh, so you won't make the mistakes that I've made. So I didn't film the one that I did on a record. I did resonate, and it is beautiful, but the, the main difference is I didn't have cells kind of all over. I had them in like a third of the piece and while the piece was still really pretty I wanted them kind of all over so I was really happy with this again this is a big bloom for me I've you know kind of got the eight inch ones down I've done a 10 inch one here and there but not with a great deal of success so um, depending on which video gets released first sorry I'm losing my voice this is probably maybe my second or third 12 inch one that I've been happy with so for me, these are those small wins and victories where you're like, yes, finally, you're getting there. So um, for those of you who follow my channel, you might know that I've been working on going bigger for a while. And so I was super excited about this. So, and while it's not perfect, it's a huge win for me. And look at that beautiful color that the custom color in the background. Now a lot of it does get covered up because I had way too much paint to spin off, but it's so pretty. I love, I love my color art. I'm telling you, Leslie is a color genius making those beautiful colors. She's amazing. So check it out i'm so excited so even with the weird places where i blew out a little bit too close into the pillow if you know if you're not like a bloom expert you probably wouldn't even notice that so it just looks like you know some weird flower flower funkiness um but i really love it i'm so excited so naturally now i want to do a bunch of bigger blooms I mean, not necessarily bigger than 12 inches, but um, I was just very encouraged by this. It's nice to have that kind of a painting day instead of the others where you're like, why did I even bother today? So um, if you saw the video where I tested a different untinted paint and did the larger bloom, that's the other 12 inch bloom that went pretty well. Um, I'm not sure if this video will come out before that one because I have to do some editing on that one. But that and some accidental ones <laughs> are pretty much the only 12 inch ones that I've been happy with. So I think a lot of it is getting comfortable with using a dryer, like whether it's a hair dryer or a Yeho or something that is going to spread out your cell activator a little bit more evenly because I personally am not very gifted at blowing them out myself. Um, I see Shelly blow them out and she's like such a champ at that. And I could, I don't want to say I could never blow out blooms the way that she does. Cause maybe I could with a lot of practice, but it seems so natural to her and it's not very natural to me. I think I overthink it a lot. Um, or maybe I just don't have that kind of lung capacity. I don't know. But, um, for me, it's really been kind of getting down the 
the comfort level with the right dryer and learning to make it do what I want it to do instead of it going completely rogue. So we're still lots of practice to do and I still want to practice with the various dryers I have and really get comfortable with all of them. Uh, Yeho included, you know, the Yeho has not made an appearance for a little bit. But now we're just popping a couple bubbles and then I'll bring you in for a close up. But I was super excited about this one and uh, I hope you are too. Definitely leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Don't forget about your discount codes below in the description box. I finally got an updated Arteza affiliate link. I'm sorry for all the issues with them. Um, they made some changes to their platform, but I know a couple viewers tried to use the link and they're having issues, but finally got all that updated. The Blick link is available as well. That's where I got the Liquitex gouache that I used in today's pour. So don't forget to check out those discount links below so you can take advantage of the color art and of course um, the pixel paint designs where you can get your boom gel and your Aussie flow trawl. And of course the Blick link where you can do your shopping, Amazon storefront, all that wonderful stuff. I love you guys. I appreciate all of your support. And um, here comes our close up. Okay, so here's a close up. Sorry for the mess in the background, but look at the sparkle in this thing. Look at that crimson lust, how beautiful it is. How well it plays with the fluorescent violet. And I used golden honey and solar flare, so it should be extra sparkly with the gold and that custom color I used as a background. It's really, really cool. There's a couple places where I messed up the blowout, but if, if you didn't know it, I don't think you'd recognize that. Lots better cell coverage than the last practice one I did with this. So I'm super excited about how this turned out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you again for all your support. I'm excited that I'm finally getting a little bit better at going bigger. So this is a 12 inch I'm excited. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.